Yep, it's a noob. Hi, my name is Nubika and this is part 57 of the Lionheart Dynasty SMB Season 2 Courage. Let's start the video. Woo! Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So, as you might remember, last video, I built this little arch here. Well, little is totally not the correct word for this. I built this arch. It's, it's not giant either. Um, well, it's okay, let's just consider this a normal size arch. And today, you know, let's just go around a little bit and see what we could do today, huh? I mean, there are a lot of kind of unfinished uh, projects here. Let, let, let's not talk about the dogs, please. Let's not talk about this. Today, I think I want to do something with villagers because in my latest live stream, I moved villagers somewhere to somewhere over there behind the forest. There's a little ice spikes biome, just re a really small pattern, I'd say. So yeah, maybe we can build something here today for them because, you know, I also said that I will give all of the babies nice houses in my queendom so they'll be safe. Now let's go around here and see what we could do first. Um, well, oh, of course I want to integrate this uh, little pond into my into my uh, base. I thought of making this into a waterfall that whoops, goes down here so we can hide the little cave behind the waterfall. That could be really cool. So what about if we build some kind of fisher hut up there next to the pond so the fisherman has a little pond to fish in. And what about another house somewhere around here for a farmer so he can provide us with crops? So cause you know, I'm the queen, guys. I'm the queen of this queendom. I don't want to get, you know, dirty hands and do this myself. So I need someone to give me the fresh bread. So let's see, where could we put a house for a farmer? Um, hmm. Well, he also needs some fields, right? Okay, so when you arrive at my base, you'll come through the portal, I guess, and go over this arch. And then we have to kind of build a, a way, a pathway that leads down there. So this would, wouldn't be a good place for a house cause it would be kind of in the way of a future pathway. So what about if we put the house for the farmer, maybe next to the future fisherman's area. Yeah, and we could also build the fields a little um, towards down here to kind of, you know, have a better transition between the rock, the rocky part <laughs> and the grass part of, of the base. I think that could look really cool. I, I think I want to start with the farmer's area. All right, guys. See you in a second. All right, guys, so I prepared some shulker boxes over here and let's let's take a look at my tower because of course I want to make fit everything together. So we should build a house that is something like that. And as you can see, there are um, cracked stone bricks in it and the cobblestone makes it also look a little older. And of course, it's overgrown by leaves and vines. And I want to want have this scheme all over my base. So this house will look more like a ruin than a complete house. I'm, I'm sorry, future farmer villager, you'll live in a, in a ruin. That sounds awful now that I've said it out loud, but you know, it's kind of the scheme of my base. Okay, so don't don't you worry, the, the villager will save, even though the house is not the in the best condition, I'd say. So let's get some stone and just, you know, mark things out. I think dirt is easier to mark things out. So I want the the um, fields to go down towards this direction a little bit. So the house could be maybe here. I mean, yeah, this is the pond for the fisherman, but we could build the fisherman's hut over there. So the farmer would have maybe a little access to this pond as well to, know, to you know, just hang out a bit. I mean, this will be a beautiful area so so why not kind of little garden or something so i think here could be the house for the farmer okay let, let me let me mark things out a little bit and of course oh that's probably a little bit too small um hmm, maybe a little further to this in this direction here all right and maybe we could build it a little um on the diagonal not that much only just, you know, just a little bit to make it look a little more interesting compared to a, you know, a normal build that is just in a straight line. I think that's, that makes it so much more interesting to look at a building. Okay, so I guess let me figure out all these stuff and things for the ruin. I, I've never built a ruin, so that will be a little challenging. And it will actually also take me a while. So I guess let's just, you know, get the replay mode running and have fun with this little time lapse. Got it to 
Alright guys, so this is the ruin itself. There's still a lot missing, the, a lot of details. I want to decorate the surroundings. And I want to show you something, guys. What if this is some kind of, you know, roof that is falling apart? And what if we uh, use some banners as well? I haven't used the new loom yet, so maybe we can craft some banners here. I really like the ombre kind of ones. Oh, you know what, guys? I, I think we could make different kind of banners for diff for the different houses. So this will be the farmer's house. So, um, well, green and brown is kind of, you know, oh, the look of my base. So green and brown. And what about yellow? Because it's a farmer, you know, the, the crops are uh, yellow. Y you know what, I what I'm thinking of, guys, I, I guess. I hope so. Brown and yellow. Let's see how it looks like. Maybe this could be some kind of, you know, uh, the roof is uh, with carpet on this side. Maybe it has kind of fallen fallen apart on, on some uh, in some areas. So I think that could look really cool. So maybe we should um, change some of the carpets to yellow to make it fit more to the to the banner, you know. All right, let me see. Oh, this yellow is really bright, but ooh, yeah, it is really bright. <laughs> okay, hmm. I might ah, I might change this. Ah, looks a little looks a little weird, right? Well, we could put in green carpet instead. I think that would look that would look better. Oh, creeper creeping up on me. Jeez. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Holy shit, I gotta light up the area. That is actually uh, something I wanna do as well in a second. Um, let me explain what I, what I wanna do, guys. So I wanna put some light sources under the under trap doors and uh, some lanterns around here. And also, you know, I wanna put in some, some oak leaves and birch leaves and some vines as well, some cobwebs here and there, some flower pots. Um, with uh, the dead bush bushes and all these kind of stuff and also of course the the crops the f the field itself for the villager to take care of and also I really gotta think about how to protect the villager in this house because you know hmm, it's it's uh, broken so mobs can get in there and kill my villagers or turn them into a zombie villager what I don't want and uh, yeah, I really gotta think about that. But you know what guys, let's worry about that later. I'll do all the detail stuff off camera because this will actually really take me a while and see you in a bit. And finally, here's the finished building with the field. Uh, yeah, well, that's not really a field anymore. I mean, that's that's totally fine. It's supposed to look like that. It's, it's a ruin, okay guys? It's a ruin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let me go around a bit and show you what I've built. So here is the inside of the, um, well, house. <laughs> uh, we have some, some carpets and some banners. So it looks like as if the roof is broken and some campfires for a little smoke effect. And when we go around here, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's not much going on back on the back side of the house. And yeah, some vines and some leaves, some random crops around as if the wind has blown the seeds away and uh, yeah here's the field and I know of course when the when a villager stumbles upon all these crops it will probably destroy them but you know what I think I want to have the the field for the villager to harvest on the back side so um, I could tear from this a little bit so it's kind of a little more of a flat area so the villager can do his job over there and maybe a small door and to the back side of this house or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. I also had some light sources under carpets and yeah, there's still a lot to do with this house, with all of my base, but this is kind of what my base will look like. I know it's probably not the most uh, <laughs> ghastly look of a base, but you know what? I, I really like this ancient, dangerous look of the base and yeah, I think it'll turn out really cool in the end. So this is the farmer's house. I'll move the villager later on because I want to wait for 1.14.4 because the villager mechanics have changed again. So yeah, I, I gotta figure out how this all works. But I guess guys, it's getting night. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and please judge me in the comments down below so I can do better next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.